The other day, we talked about the biggest shithouses in the world of football. Now, you can argue who is the biggest of all time, but right now, there's only one undisputed king of shithousery, and that is Emi Dibu Martinez. You doubt that? Come along as we show you seven times Emi Martinez showed us maximum shithousery. And of course, you know the one we start with. Number one, being Mbappe's dad. After Argentina beat France on penalties in the final to win the World Cup for the first time in 36 years, the South Americans went back to their country to do a full-on victory parade. And everything was going normal until Emmy Martinez was pictured carrying a baby doll which had a picture of Mbappe's face plastered on it. Of course, that could only mean one thing. Some say Emmy did that because months earlier, Mbappe made a comment about European nations being superior to their South American counterparts and being favourites for the World Cup. He even particularly mentioned that Brazil and Argentina had not attained the level of development in football that the Europeans have reached. So, you know what? Fair game. But that wasn't even where it started with Emi for Mbappe. Immediately after they won the World Cup, he had something prepared for France's golden boy in the dressing room. Number 2. One Minute Silence While celebrations were going on and running wild in the Argentina dressing room immediately after the final, Dibu made sure not to forget the comments made by Mbappe months before the World Cup. So, he told his teammates to halt their celebrations and give a minute's silence to Kylian Mbappe. What died that day? Maybe the Frenchman's pride. But Mbappe was not the only Frenchman who was at the receiving end of Emmy shithousery that day. Chuchameni also felt a little of the wrath. Number 3. Go fetch Chuchameni Tuchemeni stepped up for France's third penalty of the shootout, and having just saved Coman's spot kick, Martinez was brimming with confidence. To be fair, he's always brimming with confidence when it comes to penalties. This time, though, it wasn't just enough for Martinez that he had all the confidence in the world. He wanted to make sure that his opponent had none of it. And how did he plan to do that? By getting into his head. He picked up the ball just as Tuchemeni was walking towards him and made a signal to the Argentinian fans behind him to make even more noise. Then when Tuchemeni was in front of him, he acted like he was going to just hand the ball to the midfielder, but then he threw it to the edge of the box and made the Real Madrid man walk all the way to pick it up. That gesture earned Martinez a stern talking to from the ref, but it didn't matter because he'd already done what he wanted to do, and it worked a treat because Tuchemeni went on to put his penalty wide. At that point, it was game over, and it was largely thanks to Emi Martinez's antics. So he did his little celebratory dance. The crazy thing is that that wasn't even the first time he did that in the tournament. He did it against Bergui in the quarterfinal and it worked then too. You just don't mess with the master shithouser. And talking about getting into people's heads during penalties just reminds us of what he did in the Premier League against Bruno back in 2021. Number 4. Take Bruno, give me Cristiano. You remember that Premier League game between Aston Villa and Man United, didn't you? It was a classic. You just have to. Aston Villa were leading 1-0 and United got an opportunity to equalise late in the game from the penalty spot. Cristiano Ronaldo had just rejoined the club, so there was little uncertainty about who was going to take the spot kick. Bruno didn't take long to grab hold of the ball and that's where Emi knew his work had begun. He immediately started pointing at Ronaldo and saying he wanted him to come and take the penalty instead. First of all, do you know what kind of shithouse you have to be to taunt the GOAT like that? But actually, that single gesture was more of a taunt of Bruno Bruno than Ronaldo. You see, Debu was basically telling Bruno that he posed no threat at all, so he was asking for a bigger challenge in the form of his Portuguese teammate, Ronaldo. Bruno might have acted unfazed at the moment, but as things turned out, he was really phased. The midfielder, who's usually perfect from the spot, couldn't even hit the target, blazing his penalty far over the crossbar. What do you think followed? Of course, Emmy's little dance. He had just secured three points for his team against English giants with his mind games. Why wouldn't he dance? Number 5. The Desecration of the Golden Glove Just after the World Cup final was over and Argentina had been confirmed winners, there was a little matter of tournament awards being handed out before the trophy would be handed over to Messi and his teammates. Unsurprisingly, Messi won the Golden Ball, Mbappe won the Golden Boot, Enzo won the Young Player of the Tournament Award, and Emi Martinez won the Golden Glove. Now, every other player collected their award in a simple manner, and they went their way. 
but not Debu. Oh, never Debu. He was handed his award. He made this very wild gesture with the golden hand right there on the podium. It's one thing that he did that. It's a whole different matter that he did it in front of a packed full stadium and with world leaders just right behind him. I mean, just look how shocked he had this man who was standing right next to him. When asked why he did that, here's what Emmy Martinez said. I did it because the French booed me. Pride does not work with me. What a guy, man. What a guy, man. Number 6. Going Dutch with the obscenities The quarter-final game between the Netherlands and Argentina was probably the most heated game of the 2022 World Cup, partly because of the referee, Matar Lajos, and because of the grudges the Argentinians held against the Dutch due to comments the Europeans made before the game. Like the final, Argentina thought they had the game in their hands until things turned around in the final few minutes. So, they had to do it the hard way penalties. Well, the easy way for Martinez, if you catch our drift, he saved penalties from Van Dijk and Bergwi, so even Enzo Fernandez missed his kick. Emmy's heroics were enough to save the day for Argentina. And you know what follows after Debu saves the day, didn't you? First his dance, and then trash talk. He did his dance after saving Bergwi's penalty, and then directed his tongue lashing to the Dutch bench later when he said, Keep your mouth shut, you fucking twat. I fucked you twice. Martinez obviously doesn't care if there are kids watching. He'll say his piece for sure. Number 7. I'm gonna eat you up. What this video has proven so far is that Martinez is the master shithouser and a dancing provocateur. And when he went head-to-head -head with Colombia's Yeri Mina in the semi-final of the 2021 Copa America, the stakes were very high because... It was the battle of the dancers. Mina is known to dance after scoring penalties, and Debu is known to dance after saving them. So who was going to be dancing after that face-off? Both men had their dancing license on the line, but it was Martinez who took the first bold step to protect his. As the former Barcelona defender stepped up, Martinez moved over to him and tried to get into his head. Here's what he said as Yeri Mina prepared to take the penalty. You're nervous, huh? I can tell you're nervous. I know where you're gonna shoot. Watch and see how I'm gonna eat you up. And boy, did Martinez eat him up and leave no remains. He saved his penalty pretty comfortably, and Messi was right there to rub salt in his wounds by asking his former teammate to dance now. If you love shithousery in football, then you just have to love Emmy Martinez. And you also must have enjoyed this video. So, leave a comment, slap a like on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers to 2023, fellas.